Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the 30 days EPA testing challenge. Uh, we are at day 20 and today the task here is that uh, share all the tools, frameworks or library that currently are used in your API testing along with it, right? So uh, that is I'm going to discuss about it and I'm going to discuss about few of the things that we are currently using. I hope you're excited to know that and let's get started, right? Right. So uh, before starting out, uh, guys, we are on a mission of mission to master the API testing, and uh, this is a 30 day challenge. So in 30 days, we want to basically explore uh, as a beginner how to do properly API testing and all. Right? If you haven't watched my previous tutorial, I will recommend you to watch it out. I have explained lots of different tools like Postman, Rest Assured, and all, and uh, probably you have gained enough knowledge about the HTTP methods like get, put, post, right? So before going further in day 20, we need to get a few of the details means I'm going to share a few of my uh, tools, libraries and framework that I have. I use generally and I have used. So that's that is what we are doing. Right. So resources, all the tasks that you are seeing on the day 30 days API testing challenge, you can go to scrolltest.com slash API slash test. You'll know about it. Thread for this, uh, especially the thread of Ministry of Testing, you can go to this link to check it out. If you want to get the full view all the time, want to download all the resources related to 30 days API testing, you can go to the testingacademy.com slash 30 days of API, 30 days API, right? So, uh, right. If we talk about tools the for API testing, we use Postman a lot and we use REST, uh, REST client for Ruby. It's a very pretty much similar to REST. You can say REST request that you have seen in Python, right? Uh, so already pre-made pre-made methods related to uh, different STB methods are already available that we use we use extensively chrome dev tools for basically debugging the api get to getting know the api to exploring the api and all right we use charles proxy to basically use as a web proxy as well as system proxy to know about what kind of api calls are going from our os to the server to client to a server that we use uh, if you talk about frameworks uh, we use cucumber so i'll be starting for like in couple of days, day 21, 22, 23, probably, uh, we are going to discuss about Cucumber REST API. I hope you are excited to learn about it. Uh, this is kind of an introduction, small introduction. We use page object pattern, especially in the other frameworks, not with the API testing. Okay. Uh, for BDD, uh, BDD is nothing but it's a behavior driven development. It's a, a way basically in which uh, you have uh, you have to follow a certain syntax. For example, you have given a certain scenario uh, when you take certain action and then this should be the outcome right so if we talk about here so for example there is a short description of a desired functionality that you want for example the functionality can be login to a uh, login to a uh, facebook right so given you have username and password when you enter username and password and click uh, the submit button then it should submit successfully and you will see the uh, successful message or the dashboard of Facebook, right? So that is how you can convert any kind of a test scenario into the given when then, right? Scenario, right? So that is uh, all about the BDD, and uh, we are going to explore more about how to do uh, Cucumber and REST API. Basically, Cucumber JVM implementation. We are we are going to discuss about the uh, how to use uh, how to basically perform an API testing using Cucumber and JVN implementation, right? I hope you're excited. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. This was a quick video about it. What are the tools that we use especially? And I hope you are excited for the day 21. The task here for you is that you need to share uh, what kind of library, what kind of tools, what kind of frameworks that you use, especially on the thread. So make sure you do that. And uh, I'll see you in the day 21, right? I'm excited to share all the things. If you have any question, comment down below. I'll definitely going to reply. Thanks a lot for watching and if you have any question again, you can contact me at the rate contact at the rate testingacademy.com. Again, contact test rate at the rate testingacademy.com, right? I will be happy to help you. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.